Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to Let's Play Tex Murphy Overseer. So, um, we are in Linsky's um, warehouse, and wow. Uh, excuse me? The audio just kind of it was there, and then it cut out. That was weird. Uh, so, yeah. Good, sturdy file cabinet. Great. Is there anything in it that we need? Good, sturdy file cabinet. Um, no, there is no, uh, does not look like there's anything. Ooh, wait, what is this? There, that was something. That's something else. Okay, what were those? Uh... Project notes. I'm willing to bet this project of Linsky's figures prominently into the case. Not to mention whoever this overlord character is. I bet he's an overseer. Uh, you have been issued a specifically designed computer, a pass card, and pass card reader from the for the duration of the project. These are to be guarded carefully as they are the only means of transmitting data to the central computer. A password will be sent separately and scrambled to minimize the risk of unauthorized accent access. To reiterate, this project is top secret. This project is top secret. I can talk. This project is top secret. Non-disclosure is essential and unauthorized communication will result in immediate termination. Project milestones must be met. Failure to do so will result in immediate termination. All data is to be transmitted via the pass card reader. No data is to be presented in hard copy. Payment will be made to private accounts as discussed in the preliminary meeting. Association of any type with others involved in the project is strictly forbidden. That means generally that they are coming up with something big and something bad. They don't want anybody to be able to connect the dots and figure out what it is that they're actually working on, which is not good. Uh, where are the other seven working? Contact SF. Who is Overlord? Good question. So what's the other one? Well, this fax raises a few questions. First, who's SF? Second, was he working for Linsky? And third, what was he doing? Sounds like he just might have been canceling some people's subscriptions to life. Well, that's a dark way of putting it. The first two are on the list are dead. I have a lead on number three. We'll contact later. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Linsky was into something bad. Something very, very bad. What is this? Well, this letter was written almost a year ago, and I'm guessing Linsky wasn't too happy to get it. Uh, I track down this Wanda Peck. Maybe she can explain the context of the letter. Dr. Linsky, this letter is to inform you that we are dropping the investigation in accordance with our agreement... The plaintiffs have decided not to press charges as long as you agree to stay out of practice indefinitely. We appreciate your cooperation in this matter. Yeah, that, that, that is not, um... Great. Nothing special. What is that? It's like a package of electrical... Doohickeys. Well, let's take a look at the circuit doohickeys. circuit conductor kit could come in handy if I ever need to repair a circuit grid. Hey, it's the first time for everything. Yeah. <sighs> knowing how you... Knowing how you wind up as far... Why do those look like doors? Those look like doors put on their side. Uh, okay... Oh-ho! Corkboard covered with dribble. Okay, but there was this note after it that looked like it may Lesky have... He didn't strike me as the sort of guy who'd use random profanity no matter how mild. 
This may be a message or a yep. code. S O B. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, let's back on up here. Uh, are there any drawers in this desk? Yes, there are. Okay. Let's crouch down. Aha. Uh -huh. Angle down. There we go. All right. Uh, looks like business cards. Wow, we're just getting all kinds of good stuff here. Oh, well, can't... Can't have everything, can we? What is that? Is that just a crate? This crate feels totally empty. Okay, it is just a crate. I didn't know if it was a crate or a desk. Uh, what are you? You are a first aid kit? Band-Aids? Oh, heal aid to find out who was paying Linsky's tab. Oh, damn. Credit to the account of Dr. Carl Linsky. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. And can they pay my tab, please? Uh, accidental poisoning, blame, poisoning blamed in woman's death. Now there, there, right, right here. That's a picture. Uh, today, police coroner Bash Daggett released details concerning the death of C. Rona Morgan, 37. Miss Morgan, a former employee of Gideon Enterprises and current CEO of m and Consulting, died five days ago under mysterious circumstances, which were being investigated by the local police. The coroner's findings, however, seem to discount foul play. All evidence points to a tragic, though simple, case of accidental poisoning. The victim appears to have ingested a small amount of extremely toxic substance. While the question of why is unknown, I found nothing to indicate that the ingestion was forced. Damn, learn to space out your, your articles, guys. Police have ruled Miss Morgan's death accidental after interviewing sources close to the victim who insisted that suicide was not a possibility. Okay. Heal aid. Well, now that's... That, that does not look like a... These cut up pieces resemble a rectangular security card, but it looks like a piece is missing. I'm assuming Linsky did that on purpose. Right. Okay. Well, that's kind of weird, but all right. So we need to find a missing piece of the puzzle. As, as I can tell, there's nothing in here but generic data related to neurology. Not anything that'll give me a lead. I bet this computer is important, but it's got a security protect feature. I'll need to attach a pass card reader and use a security card with it before it'll operate. Right. This computer is important, but it's got a security protect feature. Okay. I'll need to attach a pass card reader and use a... I need to get a water cooler like this for my office. Maybe someday. Oh, don't worry, Tex. You'll get it. Uh... Is there anything up here that I need to... I would imagine so. I mean, why else would you have a ladder if there's not... Great. Nothing special. Great. Nothing special. I'm fairly certain these barrels should stay nice and closed. Uh, is there... Is, is there anything up here that I need to get? Doesn't look like it, does it? It's just a ladder there for no reason that I can go up. Which is really kind of weird. Okay, so I need a pass card reader. I wonder where the step ladder leads to. Nowhere exciting, that's for damn sure. Yeah, I don't see anything. Wait. Can we get up there? No. Does not look like it. All right, I don't see anything there. Okay, 
Uh, what do we have? Uh, no, um... Ah, uh, I am not sure where to go from here. So we're going to use a hint. Finding out the name of Karolinski's project. Finding out uh, location of Wanda Peck. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Open the safe in Karolinski's warehouse. Okay. Oh. Uh, so, there's a safe in Karolinski's warehouse. Solve the dominoes. Okay. Look at the safe. Where's the s So, there's a safe here somewhere that I need to, to open. But I don't see... I Wait, is that it? Is that it? Great. Nothing special. Great. Nothing special. No? Where is, uh, wait, is that, is that a safe? I don't, I don't see a safe here. Nothing in here. Yeah, I don't see where I I don't see a safe. This blanket's a pretty color. Uh, yeah, I don't see a safe anywhere. Where is the safe? I it's it tells me to to look at the to to look at the safe right. in his warehouse, but that would assume that the safe is, like, obvious. Now, granted, it probably is, and I'm just an idiot. Great. Nothing special. Um, but I don't, I, I do not see a, a, a safe. Unless that's what's supposed to be up here. Just a bunch of packing boxes. Oh, but I can move one. Aha. So this is probably the four, nine, eight. Okay. Several items are inside the safe. All right, what's it, like what? The word safe is a misnomer whenever I'm on a job. Oh, ha, 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 tax. a pass card reader. Aha! Uh -huh. you to a computer, then use a pass card on it. Right. All right, okay. And... Well, this is a life insurance policy taken out by Carl Linsky. And the sole beneficiary is Sylvia Linsky. Wow, and she's... Yeah, okay. But that doesn't pay out unless... You get, you know, unless... Uh, unless... You know, that, that does... card reader's hooked up. Now I'll need to scan the pass card. Well, now you need a full, a complete pass card, which I'm not sure where the missing bit of the, uh, let's see here, accessing the computer, find out the, uh, okay, find out S, identity of SF, ask Dolores, okay, so we have to go back and talk to Dolores. It sounds like you didn't find too many answers in Linsky's warehouse. My favorite no, person in the questions. world. As I headed home for the night, one theory after another pounded in my head. If Linsky killed himself, what was the reason? Because he was in debt? His apparent health problem, whatever that was? Something to do with Sylvia? Or if Linsky was murdered, who was behind it? Dolores, because she knew Linsky was going to dump her? Sylvia, to get the insurance money? 
Or was it someone else with a motive I hadn't even discovered yet? I knew you'd be back. Uh, yeah. I just never dreamed it would be so soon. <laughs> I don't want to appear ungrateful, Dolores, but you and I, we're never going to get it on. I'm sorry, but we need to keep this <laughs> Damn. on a professional basis. Say what you want. Your hungry eyes tell a different tale. Okay. Yeah, creepy as, as a few more fuck. Questions. I'll do anything to help. I'm sure you will, and yeah. Um, I just need to know the the. That was Carl's way of making amends to Sylvia. Great. And I'm sure it's the only reason Sylvia has you investigating her father's death. Well, that does kind of hold up. Who's? Oh, I wish I could be of more help. Wanda Peck. I don't know who that is. Overlord. I can't really help you there. S.F. I seem to remember Carl mentioning somebody with those initials. It was... It was Sonny. Sonny something rather. Sonny... Fletcher. Yes, I'm so Thank you. Sonny Fletcher. Who's Sonny Fletcher? I think he was a P.I. Like you. Although I doubt he was as handsome... Yeah, thanks. Okay, so that's everything. Um, let's go back to Tell our I've office. Got a message on the vid phone. Woohoo! Which one's the vid phone? Okay, what's the message? Hi. Hi, Tex. I need to talk to you as soon as possible. Could you come over to my father's house whenever you get this message? No matter how late it is, I'll be waiting for you. Ah, the mating call of the blonde bird of prey. Well, I guess it goes without saying you ran right over there. If I'd known how dangerous the situation was, I would have stopped to buy a gun. Turned out Sylvia had been talking to Mr. Absolute all evening. Oh, great. She's drunk. Mm. E oh, wow, she is drunk. Yeah. Hi. Oh, look who it is. Tex Murphy, handsome P.I. on the case from hell. <laughs> I bet you've solved this damn mystery by now, haven't you? Oh, it'll take a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And here I am. Sylvia Linsky, the bereaved client whose daddy took a dive into the San Francisco Bay. <laughs> Sounds interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> Sounds like you've had too much to oh, drink. Don't tell me I've had too much to drink. I have plenty to drink about, more than you know. <laughs> That's just a grief time. <laughs> what do you know about grief? Huh? Is your daddy dead? Did your mom walk out on you before you could even pronounce your own name? Huh? I didn't think so. But you don't know, maybe. Wow, she is just a mess. You know what it's like to be absolutely alone? That's what I am now, alone. I, I don't have anybody now. Sylvia, I'm really sorry. Don't, don't, don't pity me. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Go away. What you don't need is any more of this. What you do need is some Betty Pie. <laughs> oh, Mr. Murphy, I'm surprised at you taking advantage of a 
woman who's had too much to drink. <laughs> Not tonight, Sylvia. I require my victims to be at least sober enough to sign a waiver. You passed that point a long time ago. Mm, don't you like me, Tex? I like you. That's why I put you to bed. Now I'm gonna leave. You know, fine. Not one bit. Good night, Sylvia. Good night. I like you too, Tex. You're not gonna like anything in the morning. Well, you know, when we first met, it wasn't all that different from your night with Sylvia. But of course, you were the one that was sloppy drunk. What? You're talking about the Bastille Day celebration at the <laughs> Bruin Stew? Okay. I wasn't that drunk. Oh, no, we, we met before Louis' party. Don't you remember? Apparently oh, not. Oh, I do remember something, but I thought that was a dream. It's all kind of fuzzy. Wow. Okay, so we're getting all kinds of exposition tonight. Okay, buddy. Come on. Time to go Louis. home. No. Louie, one more. Hey, hey, let's get going, bud. Come on. Morning, you've got places to go. I've got... Oh, come on, guy. Get out of here. Look at what you've done to my stand. I can get it, though. No, what? I don't need your I mean, help. I need help you with that. Off me, you pervert. Ow! That was a uh, that that was a stellar uh, a stellar yeah, introduction. I guess that wasn't a very promising start. Now I know why I don't remember. You punched me. I mean, my jaw hurt for a week, and I never did figure out why. <laughs> well, it was kind of a down period in my life. Well, wow, the the, the subtitles are all off. Haven't they? Yeah. Oh, but I'm dying to find out how you went from the starched, pressed, young P.I. to a puddle of drool. Dig. Yeah, yeah, me too. Story. Well, you're making it sound so glamorous. What did you do after you left Sylvia? Well, the next morning, Dolores Lightbody contacted me. She had got an appointment with Arnold Sternwood out at the North Hill Clinic. And I went out to see him. Okay. Wow, this is just like long cutscene, lot of a lot of exposition and, and Mr. Murphy stuff. This won't take long, will it? I have an extremely full docket. Uh no. Well, I suppose just this one time we can forego the background check and hobby questionnaire. So, what can I do for you? Uh, well, um, let's get right okay, to the well point. That's enough small talk. Now, did you or did you not have anything to do with the murder of Carl Linsky? It's my understanding Carl's death has been ruled a suicide. I don't know what else to tell you. Is there anything else? Yes. Uh, vague implication? hired by Carl Linsky's daughter to look into his apparent suicide. So little Sylvia has got her claws into you. Oh, we're not going to get anywhere if you insist on being so subtle. Are you saying I should keep one eye on my client? A word of caution. I will keep both eyes on and both hands off Miss Linsky. Now, right. I don't mean to be unaccommodating, Mr. Murphy, but I really do have urgent matters to attend to. Look. Sorry, can I just have a couple of minutes? I just have a few questions. So let's run down through. Uh, here for 26 years. Damn, the it's a, years, yeah. His age forced him to give up surgery in favor of research. Right. We were friends, though not extremely close. I was sorry to learn of his premature death. Sonny Fletcher. I don't know who that is. The insurance policy. I've never heard of it. Rona Morgan. I don't know who that is. Wanda Peck? Miss Peck works for Capricorn. While I respect her professionalism and the ideas of the organization for which she works, 
I don't look back on our brief association with any fondness. Okay, what is Capricorn? I've never heard of it. About a year ago, Capricorn came to us, to Carl Linsky specifically, with allegations of unethical research practices. The charges were completely without merit. But Carl decided to take a voluntary leave of absence, and Capricorn decided to not pursue the investigation. Hmm, that's suspicious. Uh, Arnold Sternberg. I assure you, Mr. Murphy, I had no part in the death of Carl Linsky. Uh, Linsky's life insurance. I can't give you any details regarding that. Okay, North Hill Clinic. I consider it an honor to work here in light of the clinic's well-deserved reputation. Linsky's will. Until Ms. Lightbody contacted me, I was unaware that Carl had made North Hill a beneficiary in his will. One who worked for us as an intern, he was fired as a result of his unprofessional behavior. I have no idea where he is now. Good God, there's just so much stuff. I believe she was Carl's fiance, as well as the executor of his will. I didn't know her prior to Carl's death. Okay, chess. I've been known to play chess on occasion, in those rare moments when I have time for leisure. The suicide Carl note. Carl gave me no indication of being suicidal. Of course, I hadn't seen him in over two months. Okay, Sylvia, talking. come on. I won't burden you with the details. Suffice it to say that she has a way with older men and knows how to get what she wants. Do you know anything about me? I don't me? want to seem rude, but I really do have many pressing engagements. Let's stick to business, shall we? Okay, so I think that's everything that we can... Uh, we will go to... We're just going to go back to the office. All right. And that is all the time we have for today. Actually, we went way over. We we went over quite a ways, but I mean, we had a lot of a lot of exposition and stuff that we had to get through. As always, thank you guys very much for watching and stay tuned for more from Olaf Productions. If you want to see some Whoa! Uh, sure yeah, bad touch. Bad touch. We don't worry about tomorrow. We just do. I do too. What we wanna do tonight. Waking up at sundown, the world's our favorite. Just kick him in the mat.